Do you know what makes China such a unique country? Well, it is the world's third biggest country by territory, and it has the largest population. There are more than 660 cities. About 90 of them have a population of over 1 million people, and 18 cities have a population of over 10 million. China is home to one of the oldest civilizations on Earth with a unique and sophisticated culture. It has developed at record speed to become the largest economy in the world, and it holds innumerable attractions for tourists to explore. China is the only country in the world that has the world's longest sea-crossing bridge. It also has the tallest buildings and railway lines that can loop around the world three times. Of course, this isn't all. The construction of many mega-projects that will make China an even more unique country is underway. One of them is building a whole new smart city. You will find out what exactly it is about in a few seconds. Welcome back to the Apex Channel. Today we hang out again and talk about unique and interesting topics. China is building a new smart city that will cost over $500 billion, and that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. Before we start, just make sure to turn on the notification and subscribe to the channel. If you did that, we can start. In 2017, Chinese President Xi Jinping announced the creation of the Xiang'an New Area, about 100 kilometers southwest of Beijing. The initiative aimed to create a new sustainable and self-sufficient city that would unify and modernize more than 60 surrounding villages, as well as pilot innovation projects to explore new models of economic growth and create a world-class smart city with a focus on green development and environmental protection. The project, with an estimated cost of around 490 billion euros or $580 billion, was born with the aim of turning a rural area into the next Shenzhen. Amongst the projects, the Zhang'an New Area includes a new science park that will mobilize around 500,000 scientists. Dozens of large companies will set up offices, and non-core functions including state-owned enterprises, government agencies, and research and development facilities are expected to relocate from Beijing, and numerous residential complexes and service and industrial buildings will be built. All this is to accommodate some 25 million people by 2035, on an area of about 2,000 square kilometers. The ambitious project involves building a new city from scratch with the challenge of making it sustainable, self-sufficient, and ecological. In addition, the territory will be connected to other major cities by five high-speed rail lines. For the development of the Greater Xiang'an New Area, the Chinese government issued the Xiang'an Architecture Design Public Competition with Chinese characteristics under the principle of high-quality development with a specification that called for buildings constructed with wood and local materials, as well as being self-sufficient in energy, food, and component manufacturing. Among the more than 300 projects submitted, one of the winners was Spanish architect Vincent Guillard, who designed a four-block city center. In the self-sufficient city, as Guillard called his project, residents can live, work, and rest in their living environment. The buildings are topped by greenhouses to produce food for daily consumption and will be supplied with energy by solar panels installed on their sloping roofs. And to produce everyday objects, a digital industry equipped with 3D printers will be set up on their ground floors. The homes also have a large south-facing terrace which acts as a thermal regulator and will be used for the tenants to play and rest. Finally, the complex, which includes housing, retirement homes, offices, a public swimming pool, a market, a kindergarten, an administrative center and a fire station would be built with wood according to circular economy principles. After all the mega projects that China has realized and shown to the world, we're sure that this project will blow everyone's mind. With a huge population and an ever-increasing advance in technology and science, China will surely have even more projects like this in the future and build several new future cities. We can't wait to see which new mega project will reveal and shine in full glory. What do you say about this new city? Do you like it? Please share your opinion or ask any questions in the comments section below. At the very end of the video, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell so you don't miss any new videos. If you enjoyed today's video, smash that like button and share the video on your social media. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and see you again soon.